Good morning. It's January 17th. We're taking a look at guncalendars.com. We try to archive our Second Amendment history. A couple of things to talk about today. It's unfortunately the anniversary of the passing of Neil Knox. It's also the uh, anniversary of the debut of the 40 Smith & Wesson. So first, let's take a look uh, at Neil Knox, uh, an interesting character, a Second Amendment activist and author, and uh, NRA, um, well, he had many roles in the NRA, um, but uh, Neil was uh, an, an, a writer and aware of the Second Amendment uh, perspective or the Second Amendment drive of the uh, gun owners in the country during the uh, 1960s and 70s. He was there for the Gun Control Act of 1968 and was upset with the apathy that allowed it to happen and the lack of consequences. And in 1977, when the NRA attempted to leave the East Coast and move to Colorado to become a hunting organization, uh, Neil was uh, integral or helped uh, the Cincinnati revolt or helped uh, create the Cincinnati Revolt, which politicized the NRA and started the NRA ILA. Um, in addition to his roles with the NRA and his uh, Second Amendment activities there, he was also, again, the founding editor of Gun Week and an editor for Handloader, uh, editor for actually quite a few magazines, and um, founder of the Firearms Coalition, which his sons run still today. So today, January 17th, is the passing of Neil Knox. Uh, he was up for president of the NRA, and Wayne LaPierre brought in uh, Charlton Heston to run instead. Imagine an NRA, imagine the United States where Neil would have become president instead of Charlton Heston, and the potential we could have had with uh, that direction. So let's remember Neil. That's one of the reasons we do the... Uh, the history and uh, we will move on. Uh, it's also the anniversary of the debut of the 40 Smith and Wesson. So SHOT Show used to be a bit earlier in the year and uh, this was right in the middle of SHOT Show. It's an interesting story because in my opinion because the uh, we talked about the book uh, Rise of America's Block, Rise of America's Gun uh, a couple of days ago. In that book he, they talk about the story where this 40 Smith & Wesson cartridge was debuted, uh, I think by Federal or Winchester for Smith & Wesson, but uh, Smith & Wesson hadn't developed a gun for it yet, and uh, or even chambered a gun in it yet. So uh, Glock, I guess, Gadsden went over and grabbed a couple of the cartridges that they were handing out, put them in his pocket, went back over to his team and said, get a gun made for this. And they had the uh, the Glock 22, the 40, cal the 40 chambered, Glock out before Smith & Wesson even had their own gun out for their own cartridge. So I think that's kind of neat. And uh, people hate 40. They love to hate 40. So uh, today's the day. There's a couple of days throughout the year we can look at 40s, but uh, this is their debut. The birthday of 40 was January 17th, 1990. Well, these are the kind of things we take a look at, the important stuff and the fun stuff. Uh, the it's significant stuff and the insignificant. If you know something that we're missing over at guncalendars.com, let us know. Let us know what you think of this series. And as always, thanks for watching.